Hey everyone, it's Zara, and I have another haul for you guys. I have five orders here, and I still have a couple more coming in the mail. Uh, so yeah, we'll just kind of get right into it. So first up, I have an order from EBGB. This one I ordered during the Ultimate Planner sale, and it came with a couple of cute freebies. So the first one is just this little November uh, die cut to put in your like traveler's notebook and this one has the november calendar on it very cute and then we have this other freebie this one has this cute little no spend and that says oops and then it has one of her bb girls and then we have a planner a coffee cup a couple of my new favorite and they are called doodle boxes. I was just calling them doodle boxes and then I looked up the actual word or name of them and they are called doodle boxes. So I was not crazy. And then we have this little sidebar sticker that has the ultimate planner sale order tracker. I actually already planned my memory spread for that week and, and things like that. So what I might do um, is I thought you could either, you know, put another header over that and then still put it in the sidebar if you were having a different planner sale or if you were ordering from the ultimate planner sale again, you know, just saving it for that um, or, you know, cutting off that top part and then just doing the, the little shopping trackers. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what I'll do with that one, but I do really love it and I love that there's a couple of them in a row just in case you you know, ordered a bunch from the shops. I think it's a really cute idea. So then I kind of have my order is slightly boring. I ordered a lot of the same thing in different colors, if that makes sense. So I have the Me Time stickers. These are some of my favorite, favorite stickers. I have the orange sheet and I think I'm already halfway done with them and I only had them have had them for about two weeks and so when I placed when I placed this order I'd only had them for about two weeks and so I figured I would order the rest of the colorways um, just so I would have them uh, for future use and and kind of make the make the orange last a little bit longer I didn't order the orange I could have though um, so the first one is the green colorway then we have the purples and pinks then we have the blues, and then we have the, I think this is storm, uh, or the gray colorway. And so I just love those. I think they're a really great size and shape to put in the, put in the planner, um, especially over like a half box. I think they're really cute. So then I ordered a bunch of her doodle boxes. So I ordered a couple of sheets of the half box size and then the rest I ordered, I ordered all of the quarter box sizes. I decided I added everything to my cart and then I decided not to go too, too crazy. Um, but I will definitely be placing more orders soon to get the rest of the colors in the big uh, half box doodle boxes, if that makes sense. So this one I think Oh, I probably should have brought out all the colors, or like the, the names. I think this one was Pine, so it's very cute. And then this one, I can't remember the color on this one. This one was one of the oranges, very cute. This one was Gold, and I like that one. And then I believe this one is Storm. I'm pretty sure that's what she calls the gray. And so, just cute different colorways, and then with the Full, or the half boxes, I keep wanting to call these full boxes. With the half boxes, it comes in one single color uh, with the different patterns and they have, you know, kind of darker to lighter um, in the variation and so you still get a little bit of variation but it's just the one color. And then with the uh, quarter boxes, then you have the different color options. So then you have the the three colors the blue options and so then I have all of these ones so I have the blues the greens and you still have the the dark to light variation for each of them you're just able to fit more on a sheet purples and pinks 
oranges and yellows and then storm again so like i said kind of not necessarily a boring order because i'm totally digging these she has some of them on her freebies or has put some of them on her freebies and so that was where i first used them and absolutely loved them and obviously went a little crazy getting some of them and you know need to get them all so that was everything i had from abgb Okay, so next up, I have an order from Lily Henry. I was so excited for this order to come in because uh, with this order, I completed my sampler squad pack. If you've been watching any of my last hauls, I have been <laughs> talking about the sampler squad. It was a promotion that they were doing for PBC, and it was Lily Henry, um, Pretty on Paper Co., The Paperly Boutique, Oh Hello Stationery Co. and the Coffee Monsters Co. And if you collected all five sampler packs, um, meaning you were the first 100 orders in each of the five shops, then you got obviously a great uh, amount of samplers, but you also received a $20 credit to each of the shops. So <laughs> with this order, I got my last sampler squad pack and I, you know, completed the chain. So I'm super excited. Um, I've messaged the shops. I've heard back from a couple so far. And so you'll be seeing orders from each of the five shops in future hauls once those orders come in with their credit. So anyways, so <laughs> while I'm jabbering, uh, the first thing that came in the order is this little... Um, kind of like a journaling card. Um, it's just a little quote card and it says, here's the thing about life. You only get one, so get out there and be amazing. Very nice and motivational. Then we have the little um, Lily Henry postcard and then it just talks about, you know, thanks for your order, join all of her different groups. Then we have the rewards sticker. Um, and so basically you put down um, the little like kind of flower sticker on each of the little um, dots, I guess. And then you write in what date you ordered and then what the order number was or something like that. And then once you get five, you get a free sheet. And then once you get ten, then you get two free sheets. So uh, very, very nice there. So then getting into my freebies. So her freebie for the PBC um, or for the Sampler Squad pack was right here. Just very bright and colorful. I mean, that's just kind of the Lily Henry aesthetic is very like rainbow and colorful and bright. Then we have the Pretty on Paper Co. sampler. And I love, love, love this quote box. It says, a queen is never late. Everyone else is simply early. Um, anyone that loves the Princess Diaries knows that quote. Then we have, oh, hello, Stationery Co. Very cute with the little um, game night llama. I don't know when I'll use a llama sticker, but I just really, I really like that one. It's really cute. Then we have the Coffee Monsters Co. These were their... Uh, this was her freebie for pretty much every shop except for one that I think got lost in the mail. And so um, I have four, four sets of these now. Then we have the Paperly Boutique sampler. And this one is so cute. And the best thing about this is since there are five samplers, they form a little mini kit. So I'll be planning with that sometime in the future, probably in my TN so I don't know if there will be a video on it, but definitely pictures on Instagram. Then, I didn't know, so Lily Henry doesn't really post a ton on her Instagram. I joined her Facebook group, and I think she posts a lot more there. Um, but I, I didn't know that she was going to be doing a special freebie besides the sampler squad pack. So this was kind of a fun surprise. Um, this one has, it says happy fall y'all. Then you have this one that says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus, which I'm going to try to use hopefully this weekend. Um, I'll watch hocus pocus this weekend or next, uh, before Halloween. Um, and then this one says, I'm so glad I live in a world with Octobers. Then you have just, um, some little pumpkins, grateful, blessed, um, but I think I love fall most of all. 
life starts all over again when the air gets crisp in the fall. A little witch, leaves are falling, autumn is calling, then we have some little deco, then we have happy Halloween, happy Thanksgiving, ha have a Merry Christmas. Oh, have a happy Halloween, have a happy Thanksgiving, have a Merry Christmas. Okay, read that too fast. Then we have some little... I want to say they're they're almost like two-thirds boxes. I feel like they're a little bit taller than a half box. Maybe that's just my my eyes deceiving me. Um, but you have the Hocus Pocus box. You have some little Halloween ones. And then you have some that would be really great for Thanksgiving. Where it says uh, friends and family. And then it says give thanks. And then the last quote box says fall shows us how beautiful it is to let things go. Very nice. Then I just got a couple of sheets. So the first one are these little suitcases. I just thought these would be great. I've been traveling a lot, uh, packing, unpacking, all that jazz, and I just don't really have a lot of um, great suitcases that match a lot of spreads. I, the ones that I have are very, very bright, and so they're kind of hard to use with every spread. Granted, these are kind of the same rainbow theme colored, rainbow theme colors, but I think they'll match a lot better. Then we have these ones. These are top knot bookworms in the brunette hairstyle, and I love these. I think these are absolutely stunning. Very, very cute. I've been needing some cute reading stickers. Then I got the scallop half boxes. I just thought these were gorgeous. Um, no real reason besides that. Very, very cute. And then these colored pencils. I have no clue what I'm going to use these for, but they were too cute to pass up. I thought they were really adorable. And so I thought maybe if I, you know, get back into coloring or, you know, even just for kind of crafting or working on a project, um, you know, even for school or something, just having the colorfulness of this, I think would be fine. So that was everything I had from Lily Henry. Um, like I said, this was my first time ordering from her. I ordered from her because of the Sampler Squad pack. And so I was so excited that I actually, you know, completed my Sampler Squad with her shop. Oh, she also had two little fruities that came in the package, which are, you know, one of the best Halloween candies out there. So anyways, thank you, uh, Lily Henry. And I'll have her shop linked down below. So next up, I have an order from Chloe Collectives, and if you saw my collab plan with me, I also had another kit from this order that uh, got filmed before I filmed this haul. And so if you're interested in seeing her breast cancer awareness kit, then you should check out my video that I posted uh, doing the collab with her and uh, Melly's Corner. So first thing that comes with the order is the little uh, rewards card. So this one, each functional functional sheet and freebie sheet comes with two little bow icons. And so you just stick them on here. And once you fill up the card, you get a special sampler. And I'll show you kind of where those come from. So see right here, those would be the little... Um, bows to put on the sampler and so it's just really cute and her kits so they come on the the freebie and then the functional pages they do not come on the kit pages and so that is uh you know kind of the distinction i guess so then you have this sheet which is her freebie for october and this one has a sidebar tracker a habit tracker Bill do and then some cute functional deco that's from her oh I can't remember what the kit's called like pumpkin spice or um, something like that I used it a couple weeks ago and I loved it so there's that then we have this was one of her two dollar Tuesdays a while back and I loved this one it had some really cute I think this was bloomsicle art um, but I'm not 100% sure. And so it just has like decorating the Christmas tree. It has the little car with the Christmas tree. Then it has the girl either sending or receiving some happy mail, uh, shopping for presents, and then wrapping presents. And so I just thought this was really cute. I think it'll be great for Christmas. Then we have a sheet of her little bow paper clips. 
Um, and you'll notice the they're different sizes than the ones that go on the freebie. So um, these ones are bigger. And so anyways, this one just has three different sizes and I just like them. Um, they come with her kits and so I like using them to mark little reminders or things like that. And they're just really cute. Then I got a couple of sheets of her school stickers. So the first one has some no school little pencils, half day, early release, uh, spring break, fall break, early release. Um, then it has conference and then um, more no schools. Then we have no school, no school, half day, early release, spring break, and conference. Just a little bit different layout. Then we have the first kit. So this one has the date covers and the numbers. Then we have these glitter headers and I love that they have the ombre so they go from you know the dark to light or the light to dark however you want to look at it. So I think that's just really pretty. And then we have the full boxes which are just stunning. I think they're really really pretty. So perfect for I think this would be perfect for January is when I'll probably use it because January has a lot of blue in it anyways. It, you could also probably use it in November as well. I've got a lot of kits lined up for November, but maybe I'll squeeze it in as well. And then these gorgeous, gorgeous checklists. I love the pattern behind it. Then we have my favorite sheet, which has the uh, all of the different boxes. Then we have our washi and washi strips. And then we have the functional sheet, so it has a little bit of deco at the top, then it has a bunch of script stickers, some little packages, a computer, a weekend banner, payday. Um, there's actually two weekend banners if you want to stretch the kit. A little, oh, what is that called, like a sticky note, a pencil, um, oil car, and coffee. Then we have a couple of different checklists some big computer icons which I love then you have uh, like a site it doesn't actually have Monday through Friday on it so it's kind of like a sidebar tracker but you could also track something else if you really wanted to and then we've got the habit trackers the buildies and then a bunch of the little asterisks and then the last thing that I got was the October kit uh, she had extras in her shop and so she was selling them for $5 flat, which was really awesome. I think she said she had forgotten, either forgotten to list it or had printed too many, something like that. And so um, I picked one of these up. This one has the first page that has the, I want to call it washi, like top washi, but it's the top headers for the monthly kit. And then we have... Um, the bill dues as well. Then we have the uh, oh the washi to block out the days not in the month and then we have the little labels and the dates and some little flags. And then we have this sheet that has the sidebar uh, boxes and then we have some full boxes as well. And then we have some deco, some headers, and then we have some little icons for, and like little payday, payday or bill do flags. So I thought this would be really cute. I will probably use it, well, I probably use it. I, I will use it to film my rewind in my, oh, what is that called? In my memory planner, so for October. So I just figured, um, that would be a cute kit to use for that, especially since it's, you know, near the end of October. And that would look really cute. So anyways, that was everything I had from Chloe Collectives. I do have a coupon code for her shop down below if you are interested. So next up, I have an order from 472 and Maine. As you guys know, I absolutely love Kate's shop, and I do PR for the shop, and so I always 
always <laughs> place new orders when she has new releases. So for this order, I have my two freebies. One is in glossy and one is in matte. And she said that she'll include, if you use my code uh, Zara20, then you'll get uh, my freebie and then she'll put it in whatever paper you order the most of. So if you're a glossy gal, then you'll get glossy for the sampler. If you're matte like me, you'll get the matte sampler. Um, but that's just kind of the difference between the glossy and then the matte. Um, but just really, really generous sampler. It's a quarter sheet size or I guess a half sheet size. So, um, very, very generous. Then we have some functional new releases. Well, actually, I don't think... Some of these I picked up that were not new releases that I was just... I hadn't picked up yet. And so this one was clean and dust. And it has, like, the little Windex and then a little feather duster. And then we have grocery shopping. Another one that I've just been eyeing for a while. Then here's the other freebie that comes with the order kind of buried in there. And it's kind of her uh, quarter box appointment label, iMac, uh, it's Monday, and then a Happy Mail. Then I got a sheet of labels to match the kit that you'll see in just a minute. Then we have a couple more functional sheets. So these were her multicolor paw prints. Then we have her multicolor teeth, which would have been perfect because I was looking for dentist stickers for before she released these, and I just kind of used whatever I had. But then I, this would have been really helpful uh, had I had it a couple weeks ago. But I still figured these would be good, like buying toothpaste or going to the dentist, obviously. So kind of just a variety of, of dental-related activities. And then last but not least for the um, little functional sheets, I have this one with the tennis shoes and this one I just thought was a really good multicolor functional sheet to have uh, because I usually when I go to the gym I walk on the treadmill. So that one was perfect. Then I also got one of her custom uh, script stickers. Uh, for for myself, I guess. Um, and so you can customize them, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like eight words or something like that that you can choose to put on page. I didn't have that many. I had uh, about four. And so part of it was I couldn't figure out what I wanted to put on the sheet. But I knew I wanted it, uh, especially with like the knitting ones, relax. I feel like those are ones that I... I don't have, but I, I would use a lot. And then I also did Lazy Morning, Lazy Afternoon, and Lazy Night. I have my custom stickers from So Sticker Co. that have uh, the Lazy Morning and Lazy Night uh, stickers, but I just thought having a little script sticker would also be nice as well, especially if I'm trying to fill out a checklist or something uh, where I maybe won't have as much room. I thought these would just be really good. Uh, but these were really great, and like I said, you could customize it with whatever you wanted, and so, I don't know, I just really liked it. I thought it worked out really nicely, and that's about the different sizing, so if it's kind of a longer word or if it's a shorter word, obviously you get more. So, there's that one. And then I got this kit, and this kit is absolutely stunning. Um, this is called Harvest Blessings, and this is a photo kit. So the first thing that it comes with is the little freebie, same layout as the other one, just with the fall colors in this kit. Then we have the glitter headers, very nice. And then we have this one. So there are the full boxes. Those are her photos that she took. She talked about in one of her Instagram posts or her Instagram stories, something like that where every day, every year they go and go pumpkin picking and just have a really awesome day. And so this is where she got a lot of the pictures was from her pumpkin day this year. And so I just thought it was super cute. I love this box with the little, the little hands. 
Um, but I thought this would be really cute to use closer to Thanksgiving, maybe. Sometime in uh, November for sure. Then we have a couple of quarter boxes as well. Then we have our checklists, half boxes, appointment, or not appointment labels, weekly boxes, sidebar trackers, uh, the weekly trackers, gosh, what are those called? Habit trackers, a weekend banner, some appointment labels, day off payday, bill dues. And then we have checklists, icons, appointment labels, a bunch of flags, and two teardrops. Then we have headers and little things. Then we have the bottom washi, which is gorgeous, more pumpkins. And then we have some cut strips of washi as well. Then we have our date covers, which are kind of that uh, corn, corn maze kind of look. And then we have uh, the numbers and then a bunch of functional stickers, the little icons that fit in the checklist a movie marquee, some quarter boxes, and then a bunch of functional deco. So absolutely, absolutely love this one. I always love all of her kits. I think they're so beautiful. And especially her photo kits, I think are just really unique because I've, I don't know, I guess I haven't really ordered photo kits besides her shop, um, but I think they're just really fun to do and I think they're really, really beautiful. So Anyways, that was 472 in Maine, and I do have a coupon code down below if you are interested. So next up, I have an order from Pumpkin Paper Co. I haven't ordered her from her shop in a while, and so I figured it was about time I was due for another order. And she was having, I think it was maybe Black Friday sale or Halloween sale, something like that. And so she doesn't offer sales very often, and so I figured... Uh, since I was kind of itching to to sh buy from her shop anyways, and then she was having the sale, it was just kind of perfect timing. So the first thing that it comes with is this little postcard, and it kind of uh, talks about she has a giveaway every month uh, based off of who's ordered and, and them using the hashtag to post their hauls. I've never won, but you never know. Make it lucky. Then we have this little freebie. This one was an exclusive freebie for that weekend and it just has a bunch of cute fall deco and I don't think she normally does freebies so kind of when she does sales a lot of times she'll offer a little freebie um and so when I see a freebie when I see a sale I always try to jump on it then you also came with this postcard I guess you could say her postcards are kind of the freebies because I think she does include a postcard with all the orders but don't quote me on that and so this one's just really cute. I absolutely love these little, they're like witches because they have the little witch's hat. But I just think they're cape, uh, you know, with the little scallops on it. I think it's just really cute. So there's that. And then you could actually send it out. It is a postcard postcard. So the one of the reasons I wanted to order was for this sheet. This is her knitting uh, Tara's. And I have the, I believe I have dark brown for my hair color. I feel like that's, that's what I usually get. And so I just really love this. I've started to knit and so I kind of figured why not. She also has some crochet in there. Honestly, I think they're entertain, interchangeable. Um, and I do have the supplies to crochet. I just haven't started yet. Then I got a sheet of her princesses. These were kind of her Disney princess take. Um, and so I just think they're really cute and I've had them in my like save for later part of my cart for I think since she released them a couple of months ago so I figured it was time to pick them up. Then I got her kind of relaxation bath time Tara's and I think they're really cute with the little floral print on the tub. Then we have this sheet. I love this sheet. It has Tara's and she's like a planner, planner girl. Um, and I just love the colors and I love her little outfits with the bow in her hair. Then we have this sheet. This one is, you know, she's just trapped by all the papers and all the work and stressed out. And I figured this would be good. I have my project coming up in just a couple of weeks and so I feel like I'm going to be a little stressed out going into that. Then I have this face mask sheet, kind of the same thing. I've had it in my cart for a really long time, so I figured it was time to strike. 
Then I have this one, which is kind of like a lazy day Tara. So she has the, uh, like a bag of chips and then the remote and she looks like she's ready to binge watch. Then I had this one, which was like a girl's night out. And so it's Tara and then her friend and you know, they're, you know, double fisting. You've got lots of fun fruity drinks, cheers kind of a thing. And then the last one I got was this one. It's kind of, it could be like a nap time. It could be a lazy morning, early night, kind of whatever. And I figure that's how I feel right now. It has been so cold lately in our house. And yeah, I definitely, definitely uh, will get some use out of these. So that was everything I got from Pumpkin Paper Co. So next up, I have an order from the Coffee Monsters Co. This one is my PBC Sampler Squad kind of credit that I used. And so you'll see a couple of those shops repeat that I, I got all the samplers from. And so here is just the same journal, journaling card, but this one's smaller. So this one I would actually really be able to put into my uh, TN. I don't know where it is right now, but um, it's a lot smaller. I think the other one was kind of this size, more of like a five by seven, and this one's like a four by six. So I like that. And then obviously you can put your beans on the back to start counting down for a sampler. And then we have the little freebie that came with it. I thought it was just really cute and wintry. I love the little one shopping with the little uh, Santa hat. And then I got this one. This was a um, bean collector uh, like redemption. So I filled up one of those bean cards and then I put in my order that I, you know, collected the beans and sent her a picture and then she sent me this. And I love it just because um, obviously yellow is my favorite color, as I said my, time and time again. And so I just thought that was kind of cute that I got a yellow sampler. And I think she has obviously different ones um, that pop up throughout. So next I got these knitting emojis. I've been very into knitting lately. I try to knit whenever I'm just watching TV just because I think it's kind of a fun and productive hobby and I'm really bad at just sitting down and watching things um, unless I'm like in a movie theater or things like that. Um, but yeah, I just I liked the knitting emojis just because they're cute and like this one has the yarn all wrapped amongst his head um, and I don't know I just think it's cute and they, they'd be easy to throw in to pretty much any spread then I got all of the emoji head icons now oh, let's find them all so I think there's six of them yes I was gonna say so they just have different emotions on it so this one is number one. This one has, you know, kind of a side eye. That's, you know, so happy they're crying. Then we have, uh, you know, sticking its tongue out, kissy face, heart face, and then just kind of a happy one. This one's number four. This one has just like a little mustache, crying, you know, happy, blushing, kind of a mad one, winking, uh, sweaty maybe sweaty maybe sick I don't know and then we have number two this one has you know just a teary face just kind of looks like they were having a bad day this one's crying again then we have the one that's like shocked um I use that actual uh, emoji a lot so I could get some use out of this one then we have this one which is kind of like ugh. and then uh, you know just kind of maybe a little bit grumpy then we have, you know, tired, um, maybe full, um, happy, yelling, kind of a, I don't know really what that one is. It's kind of like a side eye with the tongue out, so maybe kind of goofy. And then we have maybe dizzy with the squiggly eyes. Then we have mad, kind of like they're whistling, sad, kind of no emotion that happy face where it kind of looks like they're doing something bad. I also use that one a lot for, um, you know, texting. And then we have this one, which is just kind of happy, playful with the tongue out. 
and then the last sheet is number six and then this one is just kind of you know content this one looks kind of sleepy that one looks mad this one looks happy that one's kind of rolling its eyes above that one and then this one is just kind of uh dead um overwhelmed dead whatever so uh, I, I just thought those were just really fun and they're a good size to really put in for a quarter box half box whatever it may be and then i got this one which was crafting or scrapbooking and i thought that one would just be fun for you know just kind of doing art projects i think we're going to do some art projects sometime all of us uh friends so maybe i'll get some use out of it then then we have these christmas emojis and these ones i just liked because they were a sampler i think she has some sheets with you know just one uh, just four of them on it um like she does with this one four or five of them um but this one i think was one of the samplers and so you have like gingerbread houses shopping mailing cards kind of hanging out with some wintry animals then we have decorating the tree a reindeer an elf wrapped up in christmas lights then you have santa making a list just snuggled up in your pjs um santa's helper this one has you know kind of wrapping presents in christmas pjs they have a bunch of presents in front of them and then just a couple of repeats um so i thought this one was just really fun um, especially because I don't really need, I don't really need like any Christmas stickers. Um, but I just thought these were really cute. And even though I feel like I, I won't probably use half of them, I just think they're really cute to, to try to put in and for Christmas related events. And then we have these ones. These are the cozy emojis. Um, and so it's just kind of all bundled up, wearing fun PJs. Uh, wearing a really fun sweater bundled up with their laptop which is me most of the day because my roommate keeps turning off the heat and then I don't notice it and then I get really cold and then I realize it's 60 degrees in our house then we have just some more bundled up emojis as well so I thought those would be fun then I got the frozen emojis so kind of some repeats so you still have the bundled up one but then you have this one that is you know like frozen in a block of ice this one's ice skating, this one's doing a snowball flight, which I really don't know when I'll use those. Maybe when I'm visiting my niece and nephew. And then I have some that are bundled up with a candle um, and then some more snowballs. So I just thought that was kind of fun. And, and like I said, I had a credit for her shop. Um, granted, I spent more than that credit, but I got a bunch of fun sheets and uh, then I got to redeem some of my, some of my beans and I don't know, Coffee Monsters Co. is always a good one. So that was everything I had from her shop. And now I have an order from Pretty M Paper Co. And this is another one where I had my credit that I was redeeming from the PBC Sampler Squad, um, which has been really fun. The only shop that I really haven't gotten to respond is Lily Henry. And so I keep emailing and um, hopefully she gets back to me soon. But everyone else got back to me and all of those orders should be on their way to me soon. So here is just a freebie and it has a bunch of Christmas themed uh, like bucket list. So, you know, take a, a festive selfie, fill the stockings, eat too many candy canes, wrap presents, grab a holiday drink, watch a holiday movie, decorate for the holidays. And then she has this pretty on paper coat watch along. So she did it with Hocus Pocus where you could basically watch the movie you know kind of as a group and then I think there was a feed where you could you know write messages as you were watching the movie and kind of see how everyone else was responding to the movie as well um I didn't have time to do that one but I think she's going to do it again and so I'll try to do it the next time she's doing it with maybe some holiday movies so the first thing I got was this kit I can't remember what it was called it was like Kaylin or something like that um but this one I did the same thing that I did with the last kit I got from her and I just got three sheets of it. So I got the full boxes which is just a gorgeous photo kit and it says baby it's cold outside so I could really use it now or I'll probably save it for January and try to use it sometime in there. Um, even February would look really good. Um, and then some little labels at the bottom. Then I have the half boxes, third boxes, quarter boxes sidebar stickers and then these date covers which are really cute because they have pine cones behind them and then we have this 
really functional sheet with all sorts of different icons and some checklists. Um, so that was the first thing I got. And then the second thing I got was one of her, I think she calls them mini horizontal kits. And I thought this one was just really cute. I originally was going to try to get, you know, kind of the same three page layout, but then uh, I was just trying to be frugal and, you know, not spending too much more than my credit. And so I ended up doing this mini kit, which I think was, oh, don't quote me on price. Maybe it was, it was like $6.50 maybe, um, compared to like $3.50 a sheet for these. Um, and so it was, it was something where I felt like I was saving money, but I was still getting kind of the same idea as the three page kit. Plus with the boxes being shorter, I thought it would be great for my traveler's notebook. Um, I could also use it in my Erin Condren as well, but I'd have to pull in a lot of other stickers to really fill up the week. So I'll probably end up using it in my traveler's notebook. And then this one had four full boxes, some little labels, a bunch of checklists, and then a bunch of this functional um, deco and a weekend banner. And then we have just a couple of to do this week important to buy labels. Then we have a couple of bills, uh, some sidebar stickers, a couple of half boxes, another four, uh, you know, more or less full boxes, and then some canceled stickers and some flags. So I thought this was a really good two page kit just to kind of try out and, and hopefully, you know, uh, get some good use out. Okay, and then last but not least, I have an order from 472 and Maine, and this one is uh, a mix of functional and a full kit. So, the first thing I got was this little freebie that matches one of her summer kits, and then she was doing a promotion where you would get, you know, all orders placed received this little Thanksgiving countdown, which I thought was really cute. I guess I've already missed the one month until Thanksgiving. I need to use this. Um, it's been sitting here for like a week. So uh, I need to start putting those down uh, so that I can start counting down to Thanksgiving. And I liked it because it was very neutral and so easy to kind of put in, especially with fall spreads that are already using pumpkins and um, brown is a very neutral color to match as well. So that was the little uh, countdown and then I have my freebie as always um, and then like I said um, my code is Zara20 and then you get 20% off your order and you get my little freebie and so just a very very like big freebie I always say that because I mean it's this was the size of the countdown and I mean you still have extra extra room so lots and lots of stuff um, and then she has a lot of stuff coming up for Black Friday freebies planned um, and then you can still get my freebie during it too so if you want to place an order I'd almost say you know if you can wait wait until Black Friday because she's gonna have a ton of freebies um, and special things planned so then I had I'll save that for later a couple of her circle icons. So I had this one which had the cars on it. Then I have this one with the trash cans which I thought would be good for when I run my recycling over to the recycling trash place um, since I don't have recycling at my apartment. And then I have these little doctor stethoscopes which I thought would be good for work. And then I have little presents which I thought would be good for birthdays. So then I have these little countdown stickers um or not countdown stickers but like bucket list stickers and so this one just has a bunch of fall um i've already missed some of the halloween ones but i ordered them really late i was going back and forth and then i decided that i did want them um but there's still a ton of christmas ones and um, there's some game days for watching football baking cookies sending out cards christmas shopping turkey day i mean it's just really cute and then there's also this sheet that has just kind of some of the same icons, but without the icon, just the font. And so, you know, things like Secret Santa, Bake Cookies, Rake Leaves, Bake a Pie, Buy a Halloween Costume, Decorate, 
um, buy wrapping paper, etc. I just thought that was kind of fun, uh, you know, to put in really to any spread, this would work. So then I ordered a kit and this was called Under the Tree. And so the first thing I got was the little add-on of labels, which I always get. And then it came with two freebies. So the first one is just kind of the standard freebie that comes with our kits with the computer, some functional stickers, um, some boxes. And then we had this freebie that was special for the kit because it's her Christmas kit um, or one of her Christmas kits. Then she had, you know, Christmas Eve, Merry Christmas, New Year's Eve, since it all kind of falls um, at least these two fall in the same week, um, but if you used it for Christmas Eve, then you'd have it for Christmas Eve, etc. Um, so that was just a nice little extra freebie. And then here is the kit. So the first page has the um, full boxes, and then it says it's not what's under the tree that matters, it's who's gathered around it. And then I have a couple of labels as well, or quarter boxes. Then we have all of our checklists. We have our half boxes and then some sidebar stickers. I love this weekend banner with the poinsettias. Then we have day off payday, build dues, and then a couple more appointment labels. Then we have all of our cir big circle icons, flags, more patterned appointment labels, checklists, teardrops, and then canceled stickers. Then we have all of our headers and little things. And then we have this gorgeous bottom washi. I love it with just a little hint of glitter. And then some washi strips. Then we have our glitter headers and a bunch of deco, which will be really fun, especially because it's, I mean, obviously Christmas themed, so easy to put in with the spread. And then we have some gorgeous date covers. Uh, numbers, some quarter boxes, little mini icons, circle icons, and then some cutout functional deco. So that was just a gorgeous, gorgeous kit, and I can't wait to use it. I'll probably be using it, I think I'll probably use it for the week of Christmas, but I'm not sure what planner I'll use it in yet, Um, because I, I still need to take inventory of all the Christmas kits that I have and, and try to space it out. Um, but I like this one too with like the nativity scene. I just think it's a really cute Christmassy kit, especially because it's in the traditional Christmas colors. And I don't think I have a kit that's in the traditional Christmas colors yet, but I have to double check. So that was everything I had from 472 in Maine. And you know, if you want to order from our shop, I have that coupon code down below. Um, or like I said, waiting until Black Friday um, because I, she's got a lot of special things planned. I mean, most shops do because obviously it's Black Friday, but, um, but yeah. So anyways, that was everything I had for this haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will just see you in the next video. Bye now.